Hello everyone, welcome to yet another session of this special Valentine series or the heart string series. Yes, let us get started with today's session. We are already down two tiles, two beautiful tiles using the heart string, today being the third session. And I'm going to be again starting with a heart shape since heart shape being the center of our attraction as far as this series is concerned yes so i'm drawing a heart shape in one side of my tile almost using one side of the tile as a part of the heart yes like this and then i'm just going to simply add some auras yes so the first aura is going to be like this However, they, it is kind of a tethered aura because it is attached to one point at the end. Yes. And then I am going to add a couple of more. So a little more distance, a little wider gap as I move on to the second aura. Carefully join it at the end. Again starting from one point and then continuing rotate the tile and add the second aura again join it to the end again I'm going to add probably one more yes and join it to the end so they are in pairs so one last aura like this yes so basically they are three pairs so this is the first one i'm going to add two more on this side also so that's one one two and one more yes Done with that exercise, now let us ink this aura with a sparkle like this and ink the rest. You can use your brown pen instead if you don't want to use your black, that's entirely your choice. Yes, and I'm going to do exactly the same for the other two also. Ink with a sparkle. Yes, take your time slowly ink all the three auras. Basically highlighting the heart shape inside. And these bands look something like bunzo maybe since we are inking them in pairs but not exactly c shapes yes so just auras simple auras around the heart shape mimicking the heart shape again add a sparkle leave a gap and then ink the rest yes so inking is going to take a bit of time so do it at your own pace don't hurry no hurry Yeah, so I will do exactly the same on the other side also, ink with a sparkle. Yes, probably somewhere here would be the sparkle. So I am done with that exercise. If you want, you can add one or two more, but it all depends, right? So probably I think I will add one more aura. So 
so that makes it 4 yes so it will again be a double line aura which is kind of joint from the ends a thread aura yes and the last one so this looks nice and bouncy auras like this yeah so i'm done with that exercise also in the last aura that we added yes now moving on to the next part let us add another tangle in the rest of the space now there are a whole lot of tangles that you can choose from i am going with a tangle which is similar to what we mentioned that is molygon yes so i am starting pretty small here using a bolder nib and then I will use a finer nib to kind of add tangles inside it. So Molygon is an kind of an extension of the tangle bunzo, just that the consecutive C shapes are not connected with each other and the spaces between the two C shapes is more. Yes, almost like a nice crescent moon close auras so this one would look something like an articulated molygon yes i'm going to fill this entire space with the same tangle but you can always stop somewhere and then choose any other tangle yes so I am increasing the size because the spaces are getting bigger. Yes, but remember to closely aura as you go further. You kind of stop to about three fourth of these molygons of the previous molygon. Yes. So again, I'm going to continue like this give a nice crescent moon shape again a close aura sometimes I feel I'm drawing it just like triply yes build on it go with the spaces you have slowly Continue the way you are drawing. Again, a nice C shape. Again, diminish the size as per the spaces you have. And that's it. Yes, if you want, you can add a small one here. But I would not do that. Probably we will add a small black pearl sitting there. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah. So that's Molygon. Now I'm going to add something inside my heart first. So again switching to my burgundy PN. Let's draw some nice and flowy mukas And flux or any other tangle of your choice please choose tangles that come to you easily i feel like drawing mocha so i'm drawing mocha but you can choose whatever you feel like drawing at this point of time yeah drawing some nice beautiful mochas flux goes very well as far as the tangle mocha is concerned so adding some flux there again take a cue from here add another mocha add some flux yes you can add one more mocha curl it in again you can add some sprouts if you want. Yes, 
you can always add some orbs wherever you wish to again adding one more mocha mocha is a one stroke tangle very flowy you don't have to really lift your hand as you are drawing the tangle yes again i am going to add some sprouts probably starting here take your time you can arrange them the way you wish to i am just going with the flow with the spaces that i have no particular way to draw yes we'll add some flux here again the in between space you can either leave it as such or you can add some tiny tipple probably i will add some nice tipple inside and the in between spaces also you can use to add flux or tipple yes let's do that so first i'm going to add some use a finer nib so i'm going to add some small orbs small tipples and fill up this inside space Yes. Take your time. Yes. Outside also there are so many places where you can insert tipple. So find those places add some bit of rounding here and there very small tiny spaces you can probably skip you need not add anything there add some bit of rounding here and there add tipple where spaces are bigger some touches of ink a good idea yes some bit of inking is always a good idea very tiny spaces just go and ink can add an orb take your time slowly go to each of these tiny spaces left here and there yes i think we are done so there is no need to add any other thing Yeah. So that's mocha with flux and some tipple. Moving on next to our molygon. So use anything, any tangle that you want to use inside these molygons. You can either choose one, keep it static for all or you can keep changing the tangle. That's entirely your choice. Let's see. Let's go with the tangle with some moons. Yes, drawn just like eyes. Yeah, they look like eyes of a, I don't know, turtle or a fish or something like that. Because of the way I'm going to draw it. Yes, something like this. So I'm going to be drawing crescent moon just like eyes. Yeah, eyes of a turtle or eyes of, I don't know, somebody. Some fish or some turtle. Yes. 
moon and some auras that is what I'm going to be doing no matter how big my molygon I'm going to stick to the same just that the size of the moon will vary yes so go slow take your time maybe it can be even bigger since the size of the molygon is big so just the way you aura your crescent moon one aura to each don't heap auras on one try keeping the number of auras equal on both these moons yes slowly take your time this part you can just comfortably fill it up with auras again this part can be filled up with auras and here there can be a little bit of weaving just as we do for crescent moon yeah again i will do exactly the same for all you can also add an additional aura inside before you insert a tangle yes even that is possible done many times that you aura the inside of the molygon and then you start to tangle yes so just going to aura these look something like eyes of a living being but if you want you can add more than one moons and fill up the space with crescent moon that will look, look a little different yes so I'm going to continue exactly like this you take your time no hurry yes so I'm still adding the moons continuing in the same fashion a few more left take your time this version of molygon also called as articulated molygon increasing in size and then reducing in size so what you want to insert inside the molygon is entirely your choice there are a whole lot of fragments that you can choose from any tangle of your choice that's perfectly fine this is what came to my mind at this point and it looks really nice Just make sure that you add auras to both the sides simultaneously just like you do for crescent moon yes because that's what I'm doing here reducing the size of my moon as the size of the molygon is reducing yes almost finishing there take your time tiny spaces reduce the size of the moon make it small but continue to aura in the same fashion just the way you do for crescent moon so i'm done with my tangling let us now move on to shading yes there is no space left to add any more tangles so yes let us get to shading so as far as the heart is concerned i'm again going to shade it in the same fashion as we have done for all the previous sessions that is the heart has to pop up yes and for that we have to add thick graphite at the edges so that the center pops up yes so again i'm adding really pressing my pencil hard so that the ends are 
kind of there is seed and the center pops up yes so blend pull it towards the center but as I mentioned earlier also the center should be white another way to shade here is since you have added this here uh, the small tipple you can also shade around it yes so that's entirely your choice how do you want to go about shading it as far as these auras are concerned I'm going to darken the edges I'm sorry darken the place from where the lines are emerging or merging yes so that is the place for the graphite these spaces you have to add graphite since highlight is in the center so you have to leave that white and graphite comes from both sides yes so places where lines are merging those are the spaces you generally add graphite you can add some more here darken it a little more pull it up a little more yes so that's how we are going to shade the heart and then molygon it's entirely up to you how do you want to shade it yes so I'm going to basically add let's see and close it so spaces are small so we cannot blend too much so keep the blending to the minimum something like this yes so make sure your pencil is sharp enough because you just have to touch the edges and not much because spaces are small else your whole space will be gray and you don't want that so keep the graphite to the edges and use the tip of your totlon for blending yes for the smaller ones probably you can just touch your totlon and that's enough you don't have to blend much yes so I will do exactly the same for all keep the graphite to the edges and blend it not blend too much because I also want the center white yes so do it at your own pace slowly shade all of them so I am done shading my molygon also I have shaded all of them in the same fashion as you can see keep the graphite to the edges so that you can add some bit of highlights on your molygon yes some bit of highlights here and there probably on the moon not too much just a little shine yes and just soften it you can also run the chalk like this if you wish to yes as a highlight or sparkle small touches on the smaller ones yeah and then I'm going to add a little highlight here
yes soften it yes and then if you want to emphasize your dark the graphite a little more as I always say if you have your grey brush pen handy then just run through it and it adds that additional depth that is required to show that dip adding a little inside here soft touch yes so i don't think we need to do anything else to this style yes of course if you want to add colors you can add colors in between here or you can add colors on your molygon draw molygon with your colored pens colored microns yes i'm going to close this style here and put your chop somewhere cozily sitting on the tile probably somewhere here yes sign and date your tile yes today yes yes so i shall see you again with few more interesting string heart string sessions till then have a good time bye bye